The index card by Helene Olin and Harold Pollock adhere to the fiduciary standard. Welcome to your book summary.com. Regarding financial advisors, it's important to know that not all qualifications and certifications are created equal. The key factor is whether the advisor adheres to the fiduciary standard. A fiduciary agent is legally obligated to prioritize your interests above their own. Unfortunately, many advisors operate under the suitability standard, which means their advice is generally good but may be influenced by investments that generate higher commissions for the advisor. If an advisor contacts you, they likely need to follow fiduciary standards, and their advice may come at a cost beyond their fees. When searching for a financial advisor, it's important to know that not all certifications and qualifications are equal. One key factor to consider is whether or not the advisor adheres to fiduciary standards. You should ask potential agents directly if they follow fiduciary standards. You can also consult reputable organizations representing such professionals like the National Association of Personal Financial Advisors. Additionally, it's a good idea to look for specific credentials, such as Certified Financial Planner or Registered Investment Advisor. Some companies use computer algorithms to generate investment advice, which can be cheaper than a human advisor. Still, it's important to note that even a robo-advisor must adhere to fiduciary standards. I hope you found the information about the index card by Helene Olin and Harold Pollock. If you're interested in learning more about the book, stay tuned for the next part of this series where we'll dive into the next section. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.